So today, we're going to talk about extroverted sensing, which is the second cognitive function in the ISTP personality stack. Here you are in my garage. I am looking for tools, a drill bit to be exact, because I have to fix something in my backyard. So you're going to join me on my project. Now it's one thing to hear what the internet has to say about a function or a personality type. It seems that they're written as clearly and as objective as possible, but even these definitions were written by a type that might have a little bit of bias as to how they are written and how they are defined. So what I aim to do is give you a more subjective point of view on what extroverted sensing means to me. I'm sure that if you listen to what I have to say, if you listen to what I have to say, it will fall in line with the definition. But this will add some level of human to what otherwise is text on your screen. The internet defines extroverted sensing as a perceiving or information gathering function that focuses on real world tangible data. SE users focus on the objective sensory world and are eager to experience it fully. So what I consider extroverted sensing to be for me, I step outside of the confines of my home and I am immersed in a world of activity. There's a mockingbird and a power line singing its heart out. When a breeze passes by, I will hear the rustling of the leaves in my oak tree. I come outside and I see if my avocado has begun to sprout after six years and it hasn't. I see how the lawn needs a good cutting and can listen to every step that I take in the grass as the growth crunches under my feet. I see my shrubs and how they're due for a trimming and think that today is the perfect day for it. My golden pothos has always kept me company. Lush and green could use a trim as well. I can see how the passage of time in my backyard translates into growth in life. I can gauge how much time has gone by since the last time I spent the day out here caring for my various plants. I am part of the day as much as anything out here is. I am surrounded by life and I am life. As the internet defines, Extroverted sensing is more observing oriented, which would mean that organizing takes a back seat. So you can see part of projects that I've started and haven't finished. The loppers have come out. This is day three. The bushes still aren't trimmed. I have plants that need watering that do not get exposed to the rain. Odds and ends that I would consider a backyard patio set. Things I've picked up from the roadside that are perfectly good, things that have been donated, but I am not as concerned with new and shiny as I am with comfort and functional. Eventually these things will pile up and I'll get a surge of energy to just wanna get them done. I like doing things myself as much as possible Though I do enjoy working with others and getting things done, there's nothing more rewarding than doing it myself. I like to know that I can make an impact and change the environment around me for the better and for the comfort of those that live here. Extroverted sensing is a way out sometimes. If ever stuck on a thought, feeling anxious, worried or just over energized by an emotion in general, coming back to the real world and making a change 
making a difference. Seeing the effects that I can have on the, ex the exterior somehow lets my interior know that the things that are immovable, emotions or otherwise, can be translated into action and forward progress. So on a day where I have little to do, I turn to the things that I haven't done yet or have been neglecting, such as my backyard and these little projects. I lose myself in this world and I do things to see a change. While doing so, I passively am able to process whatever might be going on. And even if nothing is going on, it allows me to just be present and be happy. In conclusion, this is what it's like to have extroverted sensing in your second slot, serving introverted thinking. It gives you a way out of your head. It puts the logic that you have into action, makes progress, and sometimes can help you think deep thoughts. But that's called introverted intuition. And that we'll talk about next time.